we're taking a look at a historic building in Salt Lake City, demolished without permission until someone stepped in. Fox 13 Spencer Joseph is live in studio with the explanation. Spencer. Adam, great to join you tonight. This is a very, very strange story. The historic Fifth Ward Meeting House in Salt Lake now in shambles after a wrongful demolition earlier this morning with no demolition permit ever issued. Much to the disappointment of the people living in that neighborhood. I've been watching this sitting empty, wondering what was going to happen with it, being terrified that it was going to become one of these like ugly boxes that our city keeps putting up. Kelly Colabella uh, lives no near the historic actually. Fifth Ward Meeting House at 740 South 300 West in Salt Lake City, a building that now sits in pieces with the cornerstone showing the building year of 1910 and the building sign that's hung for over a hundred years on the ground. After being used as a meeting house, the building has been many things over the years, from a Tibetan temple to a rock and punk venue in the 90s called the Pompadour. Started coming here when I was like 13 probably, um, and I saw a lot of really good bands here. I saw Nirvana play here. Um, I, yeah, it's like where I fell in love with music. And while it's sad to see it in this state, what makes her more angry is this building wasn't supposed to be torn down at all. That is so awful. According to the city, this morning crew started demolition with, quote, no known building permits issued for the address. City officials stepped in quickly after being informed, adding, stop work orders were immediately posted at the site. Take a look at this before image from Google Street View. Then, after the demolition, you could see how much has already been removed. In 1978, the building was designated as a part of the National Registry of Historic Places. And while that alone doesn't protect it, the city also designated this as a local historic landmark. What's your reaction to this building being partially demolished today? Well, it's pretty insane because there's a historic marker on the building. And to see it so blatantly destroyed on a weekend is pretty crazy. Rachel Quist is a historian and author of Rachel's SLC history. Working in and around these types of properties, she knows the code well. The local historic register gives it historic protection in that there needs to be a demolition permit issued by the city and that needs to be approved by the Historic Landmark Commission of Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City says they're reaching out to the owner to work on a remedy that complies with the city's historic preservation regulations. So I don't know how they could not have known. But whatever prompted those to start the wrongful demolition on Easter morning has resulted in a tough situation, one that's left Colabella feeling angry. But knowing it wasn't actually supposed to be de demolished and, and that it's just happening, that's pretty infuriating. So I've reached out to the developer of the property. He hasn't responded to me directly, but in a thread on social media, they say they're actually actively trying to figure out what happened. City code says that because this is a historic site and the property cannot be demolished without a demolition order, the owner may have to restore that portion of the building already demolished. You can read the city's whole statement up already at fox13now.com. In studio, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.